Shine, shine. Shine, lip gloss by Essence. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will do a full face drugstore makeup tutorial using only Essence products. I wanted to use in this video only Essence products because I am reviewing a lot of their products and a lot of times I don't update you about specific products that I have used only once in my videos and in this video I am using them again. I will also do some check-ins and aware tests at the end of the video and we are going to see if this madness is long lasting. I hope that this video will inspire you and also you will like it and without further ado let's get started with the tutorial. First of all I'm going to wear my headband. Oh no not this way, this way. Always, always I start by wearing it in the wrong way. On my lips I have already applied shine shine, shine lip gloss by Essence. I'm back in the color happiness in a bottle and I always use this one when I start a video and I don't want to look like a ghost. For primer I will use the Fresh and Fit Eye Wake Primer Healthy Glow Pore Minimizing Effect. I have also tested this primer with four different foundations. I will link the video down below and it always gives a healthy glow to my skin and I don't see any blurring effect for my pores. I will use it again today with a different powder to see how it works because I have never used it with a powder by Essence. So let's apply some. Oh, zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, <laughs> calm down. Da 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 da. Dun dun da da da. <laughs> I was searching to find a music that is like this because I love this song. It is the scene from uh, Monica's cousin and friends and uh, she goes like this with her hair and the music is like da 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 da. Oh my god, I love that episode. And I was trying to find that type of song or something similar to use in my videos every time I'm doing my close-ups of uh, the products. And I couldn't find, guys, I couldn't find. But if I find, I will have it and or else I will just sing. And that's bad for you, not me. Massage it into fingers. Okay, let's apply some. And it has a, a scent like a chemical soap, so that you know. And it is applied like a moisturizer, very soft and liquidy oh and you can see immediately how glowy I am I will also press it into the areas that my pores are a little bit more enlarged which is here let's move on to the next no next no 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 next product ah I also had a sponge by essence that I don't really like it because it is a little bit too bouncy and I don't like how it blends the product on my skin so I will use the real technique sponge but first I will I want to show you the sponge oh yeah so this is a sponge for makeup I'm going to use the fresh and fit awake makeup healthy glow with vitamin complex and cranberry water and this is in the color 30 fresh honey and I like this foundation a lot I also have a review about it and it always leaves my skin with a healthy glow and but it, it doesn't look oily or greasy it looks like a very nice moisturized effect on my skin and I like it I have also tested by Essence the instant matte makeup this one here and also the stay all day 16 hour long lasting blah and also the stay all day 16 hour long lasting makeup and these two didn't work for my dry and sensitive skin maybe if I mix them with an oil that I don't have maybe they will work for me but at the meantime I don't use them and this one is my most favorite foundation by Essence I have reviewed a lot of the products that I'm going to use today and I have already done a playlist I will link it down below so if you want to see a specific review about this one I have it 
Do, 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 do. I also have a sponge by Essence, this one here, but I don't like the symmetry. Also, I don't like the way that it applies the foundation on my skin. I will use my trusty here, my bestie. This is the Real Technique sponge, the, I think the sculpting one. I love this one. So I'm taking a little bit. Oops, I, I took a lot. This is not that little bit. <laughs> I will try to just apply it everywhere. This foundation also has a scent, a very soap chemically. It is very similar to the other one. I will not apply, oops, oops, my hair. My ring has attacked my hair. Evil ring, my precious. <laughs> I prefer a medium coverage for my foundation. I don't mind if some of my spots and redness and veins are peeking through because this is my skin. I don't mind that. For concealer, I have a concealer. This is the Stay All Day 16 Hour Long Lasting Concealer. And this is not the perfect color for me. This is in soft beige. And most likely I will blend it with my foundation so I can make the perfect color because this is a little bit too pinkish. And for me, the concealer that works is something that has a more peachy or yellowy undertone, something with pink it doesn't really work for me it doesn't cover my purple undertones here so i will apply some on the back of my hand and i will also mix it with my foundation Doo -doo 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 -doo. it is more yellowy now i prefer it this way let's see if it will work okay yeah i think I think it will work guys. Let's see how it's blended because I have never mixed these products again together. I think it looks nice. Yeah, I like it. If you also have the same colors and you have the same exact skin tone like me, it works. <laughs> For setting powder, I have two powders that and one of them I don't want to use it because it makes my skin cakey. For powder, I have two products, the Correct to Perfect CC Multi Benefit Pearls. And this is something that it is meant for color correcting. I don't understand this product. It says color correcting multi benefit pearls for flawless skin tone. How can you neutralize your skin with a powder that you apply on top of your foundation? I don't get it. I also have the Brighten Up Banana Powder that makes my eye area very cakey and patchy. I have already tested this one and I will not use it today. So I will use this. I will take some powder with my Morphe brush and hope for the best. Okay, I have no idea if... Oops, I'm losing a pair. So I have loaded my brush with this powder, but still my foundation is sticky. I will not be able to apply any powder products. My skin looks less shiny than before, but this powder doesn't do anything and uh, I want to look nice today, so I will not use it for my eyes. And I will also apply a little bit of the New Delusion Loose Powder Transparent Matte by Catrice Cosmetics. If you have any other powder by Essence that works for you, let me know so I can get it and I can have an Essence powder for the next full face makeup. Finally! My foundation is set. I also have a review about the Catrice Cosmetics powder. I will link all the videos that I mentioned in the description box. My only problem is that there is so much product into the container and it is difficult to get it out. I will also use a smaller brush by Essence to set my eyes. I think it is called the Chisel. Chisel brush. I don't know, it is by the Red Canty Apple Brush Set. I have this set for about three years or four years. I like most of the brushes, some brushes I don't like them. To contour my face, I will use the Get Picture Ready Contouring Palette and this is in the color Get In Shape. I also have the Flat Contouring Brush by Essence. So I will use the Light Brown Shade because the other one is very dark for my skin tone. I don't like that it is so warm. Okay. 
I prefer my brush by MAC because it is round and I can apply my contouring more diffused and it looks more natural. I feel that this one doesn't blend the product evenly on my skin and on this side you can see that it looks so much more blended and natural on the skin. So I will continue with my 109 brush by MAC. You see, with just a swipe, my contouring looks even better. That looks nice. I will also apply some on the sides of my nose with the same brush. When I am in a hurry, I just use the same brush. I also apply a little bit of powder on the bottom part of my nose so it can look more pointed up and uplifted. For blush, I'm going to use the Matte Touch Blush in color Pitch Me Up and I also have the Berry Me Up and I like them both. And there is also another color, the Rose Me Up, but it looked very, very light for my skin tone and I didn't buy it. And let's apply some. And I will use a BH Cosmetics brush number three. This is also from um, a brush set. It comes in a holder like this that it closes and you can have your brushes in the cylinder and just smile and apply your brush on this area here this is the highest points of my cheeks and also if you feel your bones this is also the highest points of my cheekbones for highlighter i will use one of my new favorite products and this is the glow baked metallic highlighter in the color like you're doing what you love and i will apply it with my E40 brush by Sigma. I always use this brush because it blends the product very nice into my skin. This gives a very nice glow to the skin. I like this very, very much. Also a little bit on the bridge of my nose, on the Cupid's bow. Now that I have applied all of my face products, I am taking a big fluffy brush by Morphe and I will blend everything with big circular motions to make everything melted together. Now that I have applied all of my face makeup, I'm going to use the Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray only on half of my face and through the wear test we will see if there are any visible differences, if this fixing spray works. I have used this one again and I didn't see a difference also. I don't like the mist, it's not a mist. It is like, you can see, it is like drop of product. Ooh, I'm very close. Oh no! <gasps> no! You, do you see that? Maybe I applied too much? Oh my god, I will... It will ruin my foundation. Quick, quick, quick. Ba -da 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 -da. This is how my face looks with the setting spray and without the setting spray. For now, I don't see any difference between the two sides. We will see with the wear test what happens. Does it work? Most probably not. I don't believe in setting sprays. I have said it again. So I will clean my brows a little bit so we don't have any foundation. And I also have a how-to tutorial to define your eyebrows. I will link it down below. And I will use the Super Last 24 Hour Eyebrow Pomade Pencil. This is waterproof. And the color that I have is 20 brown. If you want to make the tip of your eye pencil a little bit more pointy, you can use the sharpener that comes in the other side of your brush and you need to clean the sharpener because it is very small and the product gets stuck there and uh, if you try to sharpen your pencil with the product on the sharpener you will just break the pencil i have done it test it so it is a little bit waxy that I don't really mind. So it keeps also my brow hair in place. This will be also in my empties video because it is almost done. My eyebrows look horrible. I'm trying to let them grow, but they don't grow the way that I want them to. And uh, it is difficult to shape them. 
I also have a brow gel by Essence and this is the Lash & Brow Gel Mascara and this doesn't work for my brows so I will not use it today. For my eyes I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. If you're watching my videos you know that I like testing Essence products especially eyeshadow palettes because I am an eyeshadow palette fanatic and I have some palettes in front of me that I want to use for today's makeup. I'm not very sure what I will do. I want to do something very glamorous and for a red carpet and I want to use the In Love With Rose by Essence this one here I also want to use the Wonder Foil eyeshadow palette and maybe the Magical Forest I will change my lens so you can see a little bit better the magic that will happen on my eyes and I have all the palettes in front of me right now so I can decide what I will do uh, let's drink a little bit of coffee first good stuff this is Coochies, not sponsored. For my Bravo highlighter, I will take the eyeshadow palette Magical Forest and I will use the lighter shade. I will use an eyeshadow brush by Essence. This is from their new collection and I think I have all of their brushes. Um, or maybe I don't have one, I'm not sure. These are all the brushes. This is a flat powder brush that I forgot to use today. An eye blender brush, flat contouring brush that I have used before, makeup buffer brush, I like this brush. It is, it gives a full coverage effect on your foundation with a small amount of product, I like it. It is a little bit difficult to wash the bristles because there are a lot of them and they are very close together. Another brush is the bronzer brush that it is like a pointy fluffy brush i'm not a huge fan of these brushes because i feel that i don't have full control of the product that the bristles are picking up i have a smudging brush and an eyeshadow brush which i love i use them all the time in my eye makeup tutorials if you have noticed and i will take just a small amount and i will apply it on the highest point of my brow and with whatever is left I will just blend it. The first color that I'm going to use into my crease is this one here and this is from the palette In Love With Rose and I will apply it with an eye blender brush. The next color that I'm going to use is the brown eyeshadow from the Wonderfoil palette and to apply the color I will use the 2 to 5 Lux Eye Blender brush by Zoeva and I also apply a second layer of this color and I try to blend it closer into my crease. With a smudging brush by Essence, I take the same color and I apply it in the outer third of my lower lash line. I am taking the black eyeshadow from the same palette, the Wonder Foil, and with my smudging brush, I will only apply it in the outer corner of my eye to add a little depth to my eyes and also to make it look more intense. On my eyelid, I am applying the light pink shimmery shade from the palette In Love With Rose with an eyeshadow brush by Essence. Also blend it into the crease so everything will be very blended. And I will apply a second layer of this color. In my inner lower lash line, I am using the first color that I have applied into my crease from the palette In Love With Rose. With a smudging brush by Essence, I take the same color and with an eye blender brush, I blend the edges of my crease. With a pencil brush by Morphe, I take again the light pink shimmery shade from the palette In Love with rose and I apply it into my inner corner. For eyeliner I will use the super last eyeliner in matte black and I will apply it with an eyeliner brush by Essence. I will not use the applicator of the eyeliner because it is so long and I don't have control of the tip and also I didn't cut it so I will just use it with my brush that I know how to use. My wings are not the same. Oh, 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 oh. I don't have an eye pencil that I like by Essence, so I will not use anything in my waterline. And for mascara, I will use the Lashes of the Day Super Volume Mascara. So it doesn't make my lashes as full as when I use my Superhero Mascara by It Cosmetics or my Maybelline, my Falsies Mascara. On my lips, I will apply Ultra Last Lipstick in the color Pink Candy. I like these lipsticks, are very creamy and easy to apply. This mascara doesn't say if it is waterproof, 
but be careful because it stains the skin and I couldn't take it off from this eye and if my lower lash line looks completely different than before it is because of this mascara hi guys it's been six hours and let's do our first check-in and I will zoom you in the first thing that I notice is that my eyeliner has transferred from the inner corner to the lower lash line and that never happens with eyeliners. You can also see that on this eye. I also don't have a lot of foundation around my nose because I wiped my nose. My eyeshadows are looking very nice. As I can see they didn't crease and they are very nice and intense. They look very nice. My eyebrows are the same and they stayed the same because the formula is waxy about the lipstick I removed the previous lipstick because I wanted to eat I am glowy all over my face I think there is not a difference between the two sides my foundation has creased in the lines of my forehead as you can see and also between my brows it doesn't look so bad it's not very sticky it is almost not sticky only on this area here and a little bit between my brows so my foundation looks nice i will just clean a little bit my inner corner because i don't like looking like this hi guys it's been four more hours and let's see what happened with our products the first thing that i noticed is that I have some smudges in my inner corner. I cleaned the, the black eyeliner before. Okay, I will just take it. About the mascara, I don't have a lot of fallout. I have more fallout with the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. My eyebrows are looking very good. I really like this brow pencil and it is also empty now. So most probably I will repurchase it. The eyeliner is so difficult to use because the tip is so long. Also it dries very quick and if you apply it on the back of your hand and then you take your eyeliner brush to apply it, you need to be very quick because it dries. It also smudges. That's the worst. You don't want that from your eyeliner. It is a miss. My eyeshadows are looking very nice and whoops, I like these palettes a lot. This one is my least favorite because the palette contains only shimmery eyeshadows but I like the color selection. It is a little bit sticky now. It's been 10 hours that I have my foundation and the primer on and they are a little bit sticky on this area and um, a little bit also on my cheekbones yeah and on my forehead but it's not a lot guys and also my skin looks like I have a very natural healthy glow and I don't have any weird patches of foundation my foundation looks the same like in the previous check-in that I did so I don't see any difference between the sides of my face that I have used on one side the fixing spray you can decide if you want this product in your makeup routine I lost the cup. I don't want to use more products every day. So this is a pass for me. I have used it again and I didn't like it again, so no. About the face products, I already love the foundation. It is very comfortable and lightweight on the skin. And I also like the primer because it, it gives a healthy glow, but it's not a greasy, oily. I like it. It is something very healthy and it looks like my skin is moisturized and um, very nice. The concealer worked for me and my eyeshadows didn't crease. Also, it was very easy to apply it on my eyes and it was comfortable to wear it throughout the day. About the mascara, once it is empty, I will not purchase it again because it stains the skin and I am always, always touching my skin with my applicator when I apply mascara and I cannot spend my time reapplying my makeup just for this mascara, so sorry. About the powder, you know, it didn't work. And if you have any recommendations for affordable drugstore powders or another one by Essence, let me know in the comments below. The blush is one of my favorites and the highlighter 
I like it so much that I also had it in my last video about my faves and hates, my April's faves and hates. The contouring palette is also very easy to use if you are a beginner in makeup. You can experiment first with powder products and after that with cream products and I will also do a how to contour your face tutorial. So don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post that video. And about the lipstick, I don't have it right now, but I love the formula. The Ultra Last lipsticks are so nice on the lip. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you want me to do a full face drugstore makeup tutorial with another brand, maybe with Catrice Cosmetics or Maybelline or L'Oreal. Let me know in the comments below which one you want. If you want to learn more about makeup and also see some more videos from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!